let's go over installation and in here you can see npm install and yarn if you are using npm then npm install first one and for yarn there's second command and because we will be using npm so I will write npm okay this one and hit enter and this will install npm for you and because I have already installed npm I will get okay so it is doing some processes maybe it is overwriting or something so when you will finish your installation you can use view dash dash version as shown below to check your view version currently I am using 3.3.0 and and now our view CLI is installed so now let's create first project so close this and to create a first project let's go over creating a project section and in here you can see view create hello world so view create will be necessary and this will be your project name so if your project name is chocolates then you will create view create chocolates and after that it will ask you some questions so let's go over that so in my computer right here just create new project for demo purpose view create uh, let's say who underscore taste now hit enter okay so update is available I don't want it right now so let's just focus on this stuff where that question starts just ignore that first line it shows us please pick a preset and this common one is my personal preset so ignore that one also you will also get these two default and manually let me show you in here like this pick a preset default and manually so if you want to go over default just select default or you want to do it manually which you will definitely do I think so let's hit manually which will give us lots of option do you want Babel TypeScript progressive web app router UX CSS preprocessor like SAS SCSS and linter unit testing e2 testing and all that so let's say for now I want nothing no UX no router I just want to set up my project so what I will do enter and this default want yes lint with error prevention only lint on save and in dedicated configuration file and maybe all these options are okay they are listed here and yes you can use the GUI also as shown here so we are in final step so hit enter save these as a preset for future projects and because we don't want to save it I will hit N and hit enter and it will install all this stuff and configure it for you okay so our installation is finished and it says it successfully created a project view test and to get started run the following command so we will type view create sorry view test to navigate in our project and then it says npm run so so before doing that let me show you our folder and this is our project folder it has some files like readme.md post css configuration package log.json, packet.json, babel config, git ignore, eslint and all that node modules public source and in current prompt if you run 
npm run so and it will start development server for us which is localhost 881-8081 and welcome to your UJS app without any configuration and maybe I should stop this lecture right here I think it's quite long I don't know right now so see you in the next one and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe support me and see you in the next one bye bye good night